What's up, everybody? I am in Cleveland, Ohio. Well, just outside of Cleveland, Ohio, at the Punderson State Disc Golf Course. I think it's called Friends of Punderson. Um, playing it for the first time. We're going to go through, see how the course is. Um, it's really pretty, nice, looks pretty wooded so far. Um, looks like there's three different tee pads, a couple different basket locations. So we're gonna see how it goes. What's up, everybody? Hole one. Hunderson Disc Golf Course. Um, this is a 342 foot downhill hole, nice and wooded. It goes down, dog leads to the right. Uh, I'm gonna throw the Zhao and see if I can get a nice hyzer flip to turn over to get all the way there. All right, so I pushed a little straight with a Zhao, hit a tree, fell right into the path, luckily. Uh, you can kind of see the basket up here. I'm probably, I don't know, 70 or so out. I'm gonna flick the hammer, see if we can get around these trees. All right, nice tap in par to start the day. Not too bad. Hole to 261 feet, another dog leg right. We're gonna go through the gap, uh, up and to the right. I'm gonna throw the shoe and let it just kind of coast and see if we can get it there. Threw it a little short, weird kick. All right, so I'm about 70 or so out. Um, I didn't notice before, but there is water behind the basket on a little bit of a slope. Left it a little short because of the water, got scared, I didn't commit. Uh, 20 footer, let's go for par. Hole three, 249, hooks around to the left. Gonna throw the Zhang and Nature Plastic on Heiser and kind of see if it'll just carry. We'll see. I'm up there. It looks like it got a little weird roll, but we'll see how close we are. All right, so it came up a little short. Um, it got a skip, but then it rolled a little weird. Um, I am in the fairway. I do have a line, um, but it's about 45 foot. So I'm gonna see if I can step putt in to the basket. Ah, just a little off. All right, so I hyzered out just before the basket, uh, landed about five feet behind it. Uh, it was a close run, but not quite close enough. So we're just tapping for the par. Uh, so this course is really pretty. Um, I really, I'm enjoying it. Look at the lake. The tee signs with the different tee pads is really nice. Nice and wooded. Really pretty course. Um, if you're out here, it is the highest rated disc golf course in the area. Um, it's 4.5 rating. That's why I came to try this out, figured I had to. So definitely come check it out if you're here. It seems pretty tough. Um, I'm playing the shorts and I'm at par. Let's see how the rest of the round goes. All right, hole four, 202 feet. It's almost straight off the tee pad, but there's trees in the way. So I think the line is gonna be a hyzer. I'm gonna throw the hammer uh, up through the right and see if I can really get it to fade back in. I think we're just on circle's edge, but let's look. All right, so I didn't realize it throwing, but there is OB all the way around. This is kind of an island hole. Um, there's a creek that seems to be dry, but there is a marked boundary, so I'm assuming it's out of bounds. Um, I hit the top of this little hill and kind of rolled back down, but stayed safe. So let's see if we can make the putt or at least give us an easy tap and par. under the basket so didn't give it enough height to get to the basket but i'll take the tap in par hole five 302 feet super straight throw the zhao hyzer flip see if we can get there went straight not quite far enough and then it ended up fading back a little too much hyzer on it we'll see all right so i hyzered out a little bit too much um, I'm behind these trees. The only real shot I have is a little scuba around the left side of those trees. Um, I don't have a good anti-putt 
So I'm gonna try to scuba it and at least put it close to the basket. So let's see. Uh, ended up here for the par. Um, skipped under the basket, so. All right, hole six, 331, up to the left. Gonna throw the B, try to get it flat uh, or a little hyzer and let it fade to the left. I don't think I pushed it quite far enough, but we'll see where it gets up there. Got a good skip. All right, so I didn't push it nearly far enough. Um, I, I just didn't know how far I could push. There's water on the right. So we are, I'd say about 80 short. Uh, I'm gonna try to jump putt this to see if we can get there, but it's not looking great. So I'm actually gonna change my mind. I'm gonna forehand the hammer, see if we can get close. I, I don't think I can make the jump putt anyway without hitting one of those trees, so we're gonna see if we can hit the hammer. All right, so I didn't give it a chance with the hyzer forehand uh, with the hammer, but I did get the easy par. Nice tap in uh, for par. All right, hole seven, 250 feet uphill um, to the left. I'm going to throw the Zhu and see if I can push it up and get it over there. It might be a little far with the uphill, but let's try it. So I completely misjudged this throw. It was way further left and it feels like further than 250. Um, so I'm definitely short. Um, I don't know if changing a disc would have mattered. So we're gonna take this hammer and throw it straight at the basket forehand, see if we can get there. Yes! So that was probably 90 to 100 feet out. Um, that forehand just seemed to feel good and we did get the throw in so that's an amazing first birdie on hole seven all right hole eight 264 feet uh, almost dead straight uh, there's a bigger gap on the left than there is on the right so I'm gonna take this Kang uh, and try to throw it on an Anheuser and let it just glide down good release Get it. Oh, I kicked a tree at the end. That still would have been short, um, but I kicked a tree to the left. All right, so that should have uh, probably landed about circle's edge. Instead, I got a tree over here on the right and it kicks left, um, kind of rolled a little bit backwards. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm about 50 out. I'm gonna see if I can step put this in. Get in. Uh, so it was the right line. Uh, but a little too high, so I'm going to just try to tap this in. It's about 15 feet. Hole nine, 142 feet up the hill, a little to the right. It's on the right side of the gap. We're going to try that Kang Anheuser again, see how we get there. I think I rolled all the way down the hill. I uh, put a little too much Anheuser on it, ended up down the hill for a circle's edge putt. I almost went out of bounds, but didn't. Uh, so let's see if we can put that Ling right up in that basket. Is it? Okay. So right line, a little low. Uh, I definitely like to have this hole back. It's only 140 feet. Um, but I'll know for next time, don't quite turn it over, especially with a downhill and out of bounds. Um, so for first time playing the course, I'll take it, although a little disappointed. All right, hole 10, 130 something feet, um, 136 feet uh, straight through this tiny gap. Um, I can't throw it through a four foot wide gap, so I'm going to go to the right. Uh, I'm going to take a hammer and just kind of throw it up there and see. Yeah, I think I'm under the basket. All right. Nice uh, eight footer for birdie. Hole 11, uh, 218, can go straight at it over the OB, uh, creek on the left or around the right. I'm gonna try the crossbow around the right side uh, and just see if I can get it all the way up there. Did 
didn't quite skip it. All right, so I didn't get as much of a skip with crossbow as I wanted. Ended up back here, a circle's edge, and a death putt. We're gonna run it. What's the worst that can happen? I go down to bounds, right? After the chain out, tap in for par. Hole 12, 243 feet, uphill to the left. Gonna throw the B, um, push it as far as I can. I don't know if I can make it there or not. All right, so landed just outside circle, probably like 35, 40 feet uh, with the B. Let's see, I have a really tight window between the two trees. You can't see it from this angle, but really tight window. Let's see if we can make it through. Short. Ended up just short for a tap in par. All right, 175 foot hole 13 straight through. We're gonna take the claws, see if we can just push it up there. All right, I actually went past the basket about 30 feet, um, just inside the circle, but let's see if we can get the putt. Hole 14, 170 feet. Uh, gonna take this crossbow and flick it around the left side to see if we can get all the way up there. The basket is right there. Came up a little short. Let's see if we can make it. A little too much power. Hit the top of the basket. Tap in for par. All right, hole 15, 430 foot par through four. Um, up to the right for the Zhao. All right, so I think I was looking at the wrong numbers. I think this is the 340 foot par three. Um, I ended up about 100, um, even with the basket, but about 100 to the left. Uh, so I'm gonna flick a hammer up there and see if we can put it close. Give myself a long putt. Definitely didn't do myself any favors. Left myself about a 25 footer. Um, with the way I've been putting, who knows? Um, it's a little uphill, let's see. All right, tap in bogey, first bogey of the day. Um, played this hole really bad. I think part of it was that I thought it was a different, uh, further par four and it was really a shorter par three. Um, my mistake for not checking out the hole um, and had a bad release off the first, so. All right, hole 16, 250 foot uphill to the left. Gonna take the Zhao, throw it up, let it fade in. All right, so I caught the branch, left me about a circle's two edge. Um, I think I'm just gonna hammer and throw it up, and try to take the par. Ended up right under the basket, tapping par. All right, hole 17, 156 foot par three. Um, through the gap up to the basically straight. Um, I'm gonna forehand the hammer and see if we can get it close or maybe even run it. All right, hole 17, forehanded the hammer, tap in birdie. Hole 18, 336 feet up to the left. Uh, I'm gonna throw the way. Uh, Heiser clip, see if I can push it straight and let it fade back. Little low, big skip. Let's see where we went. All right, so I skipped into the woods. Basket's up here around the left. Um, I don't have much of a shot. We're gonna see if we can scramble and at least get out. So I just threw the crossbow forehanded it through a tiny gap that somehow I magically hit 
ended up not hitting a single tree all the way up and basically parked it under the basket. This was a little lucky. Um, Anheuser flexed a forehand. Um, I'll definitely take it. Um, tap in par. All right, so just finished the round. Um, this is a absolutely gorgeous course. Uh, the trees, the nature, the lake, everything's amazing. Um, I learned a ton about my game. I don't play woods that often near me. There's a few holes that are wooded, but mostly I have some open space. Um, I learned that I don't commit when I have a tighter line, so I need to work on that for sure. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that because I usually do field work in an open field, so I'm going to have to set up something to give myself some gaps uh, to hit so I can commit to it. Um, I find I short arm it, so that sucks, um, but it's something to work on. So I ended up three down um, with one bogey, four birdies. Not bad for first time playing it and for that problem of not committing. Um, I also found if I had a hill or a death putt of any kind, I wasn't committing to the putt either. So I think commitment to the shot is what I really need to work at over the next couple months uh, to get ready for next season. Hopefully I can commit on the shots I have for states, Indiana states coming up in a couple weeks. Um, but overall, great course, definitely recommend it. Um, I'll probably play this a lot when I'm traveling to this area over the next year. So hopefully I can commit to those shots, get uh, some better scores, uh, and move backs and tees with some, uh, a little bit more difficulty. So definitely check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.